Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm a survivor of, of domestic violence and also a survivor of acquired brain injury. When I was 25 years old, just finished university and looking forward to what life had ahead of me, my stepfather attempted to kill me with a, a claw hammer. And the excuse that he used was that he thought we would all be, all be better off dead. He took it upon himself to decide that because my mum was going to leave him, he would kill us all and then himself. He was passive aggressive. Like, I could see he was getting irritated, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't show it. He would be very quiet, mostly stay on the computer or read his books and like you'd hear him puff and puff and go away. But he had only once hit my, my sister for having a tantrum, <laughs> you know, he was pretty, pretty quiet until I think, well, he said it was an attempt at familicide. He wanted to kill all of us and then kill himself. Brain Injury Australia was the first organisation to conduct research into the rates of brain injury as a result of domestic and family violence. So a decade worth of hospitalisations in Victoria. Of those 16,000 hospitalisations, two in every five involved brain injury. The two most common categories of brain injury that result of domestic and family violence are traumatic brain injury or head injury from things like striking, punching, beating, applying external force to the head in both, in both women and children, and then what's called anoxic or hypoxic brain injury from choking or strangulation where oxygen supply to the brain is cut off. As much as Brain Injury Australia is concerned about those women who receive a one-off acute, severe traumatic brain injury that requires an immediate call to police, ambulance and off to the hospital, we are as greatly concerned about those women who don't go anywhere near a healthcare setting because um, their injuries are mild, they may make a full recovery. So just as you would with a concussed rugby league player, often the symptoms of a concussion or mild traumatic brain injury won't necessarily emerge immediately. They may emerge six months, 12 months down the track. Things like dizziness, headache, behavior change, flying off the handle at the slightest possible thing. And in the context of multiple concussions, multiple mild traumatic, traumatic brain injuries, the effects in that person can be cumulative over time. So they can end up with a version of what used to be called boxer's dementia as a result. In CRL, we have protocol around concussion to ensure player safety. It's crucial that we take the same care with victims of domestic violence. So just as you would with a concussed rugby league player, if you know of a woman, a friend, a family member who has um, experienced a traumatic brain injury as a result of domestic or family violence or has been choked or strangled, then what she needs is the encouragement and the support, both emotional but also to seek some kind of medical attention to make sure the damage hasn't been done. Importantly, if you hear of a loved one, a friend, a family member who has been choked or strangled, there's great evidence to indicate this is a key indicator in the escalation to homicide. So it's really crucial that in that context that you provide that particular woman with all the care and support that she needs to disclose the injury and to seek some kind of medical attention. Since then, I had to learn to eat, sleep, talk and walk again while I was spent seven months in the brain injury unit rehab. As a result of the acquired brain injury, I now have pain every day varying in levels. <clears throat> and I have what is called hemiplegia. So that means one side of my body with being the left is partially paralyzed. I'm lucky enough to be able to walk, but I can't use my left arm for much. I think what's helped me to recover is that I didn't want to be a victim. I decided I was going to take what my stepfather had done to me and turn, it, turn that around so I got the power back and use that, that energy to put that effort into helping other people. I, I think I'm in a good place and in a way, it's like me having victory over what happened to me. 
No, I am not what I'm not what happened to me. I'm more than that. 